Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Jim G. This will be the first time you've seen me, hopefully not the last. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to introduce myself and, and my channel really. I've been procrastinating for absolutely ages about making Football Manager content. I watch a lot of it. If people find it funny that you, you sit there watching people essentially mess about with a big database of footballers' names. So yeah, like I said, I've been procrastinating for ages and I've been kind of a bit hesitant to start doing these films because I want things to be right and it's taken me a long time to sort of pluck up the courage to actually just give it a go and try and, and try and do it. So by day I'm a graphic designer, um work with my wife, got an 18 month old kid, got another one on the way, so hence you know why it's taken me so long to, to, to actually make this video as well. But also as you probably guessed I'm really into football manager, football um and gaming in, in general. Probably less said the better about football because I'm a Stoke fan. And at the moment, it's not going too well for Stoke. Um, we're looking more and more like going down every second. And uh, yeah, let's let's not get into it. Uh, I don't want to cry on my first uh, first ever video. I think it's, it's Football Manager's always been about fun. It's about stories. It's about um, narrative. You know, it's about... It's really about creativity. There's something about this game that makes people want to create, whether it's um, creating custom databases or um, designing uh, kits, um, just just making content, making videos in general, writing blogs. There's something about Football Manager that really sort of sparks people's imagination. And I, I, I've always loved that. You know, where do I want to go and manage? If this was real life, where would I want to go and live? Where would I want to relocate my family to? It's it's just a crazy, crazy world that you can really immerse yourself in. And it's amazing. It's it's. I think it's actually because on the face of it, the game looks to someone who's never played it before so boring like it, you know it's just numbers and text on a screen um that almost forces you to to use your imagination more it's about creativity it's about fun it's about creating stories and creating a story and and a, going on a journey i think is the way to describe it and that's hopefully what i'll do over um the course of my videos story so far as far as Football Manager 18 goes, um, I started off on the beta. Um, I started to save as Roma. I really like the idea of Roma. I've always had a soft spot for them. I've never done a save as them. Um, I, you know, I love the kit. I love the badge. And being a designer, you know, I'm attracted to those kind of things. Decent amount of money, decent squad. Um, but oh no, <laughs> I just got hammered over and over again. First eight games in a row, I, I lost. And not, not just lost, you know, I lost badly like 2-3-0. Picked up a little bit, went on a sort of five match unbeaten run, although only about three of those were, were, were wins. Eventually I was given an ultimatum by the board. They wanted me to get 10 points in the next five games. I drew the first, lost the second, so obviously I had to get had to win the next three games uh, in order to avoid the sack. Went into that game and got absolutely spanked <laughs> and then uh, got sacked. But it did happen to coincide with the release uh, of the full game. So I decided to start again um, and I started off unemployed and I got some interviews. And the interviews that I got were Rangers, Glasgow Rangers, uh, Tours, I think that's how you pronounce it in France, Tours, it's probably pronounced differently, uh, and Werder Bremen. These are the three that I was interested in anyway. Um, I've always wanted to manage in Bundesliga, so that was an interesting one to me. Tours was more because I didn't really know anything about them or the French leagues uh, and Rangers. I was really interested in Rangers, but I kind of didn't want to do that because it was around the time FM Samo had released his restructured Scottish League database. And I really, really want to use that. So anyway, I went for Bremen. Odds on favourite for relegation. Uh, no real transfer budget available, but they're in the Bundesliga um, interesting league, uh, and I thought, yeah, I can, I can maybe do something for that. Maybe with that, um, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment. I don't know. <laughs> I'm already well into the season with them, um, and I was kind of thinking, should I start this first save um, on the channel um, afresh with a new team? I just thought, well, 
it's all a learning curve anyway. I'm really into this save, I'm invested in it. So what I'll probably do is do another catch up video after this that introduces you to the team and the finances and what's happened so far. And then we'll go straight into first game. So no spoilers now. Um, I'll, I'll do that video update after. Yeah, so that, that's it, my first video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you're interested in uh, watching the rest of the saves. Like I said, the Verde Bremen stuff is going to be going to be out probably the same time as this video, so you can probably pop over and watch um, the introduction and the first game right away. Hopefully, also follow me on Twitter. It's uh, JimG underscore FM, and I feel really cheeky asking uh, for you to subscribe and like the videos because it's my first video and it feels bad asking people to do that anyway but um nevertheless i'm going to do it um probably at the end of every video just as people do on youtube so um yeah if you want to if you, if you like it if you like it only if you like it please subscribe um and like the video because apparently that's the way that other people find out about the video so it's really useful and that's it i'll see you again soon goodbye